Hey guys, today we'll be setting up Plex Media Server. So let's get started. Uh, open up your web browser and go to the following address http semicolon slash slash plex.tv. Enter. Let's wait for this to load up. Alright, click on downloads at the top. And because this is a Windows machine, click on computer and then download for English, unless you're Korean. Let's just wait for this to download. Okay, now that that's downloaded, we're going to launch the installation. And click on the Run dialog box if it pops up. Alright, let's just click on Install. And let's wait for this to quickly install itself. Okay, and then click on launch. Okay, after you click on launch, you'll see a little icon down the bottom next to your clock. It's just called Plex Media Server. And it should automatically open up. After you click on the launch button, it should automatically start logging on to your own Plex Media Server. So it puts in its own local IP address to your computer. Sometimes it'll give you a license agreement, so just click on agree and then you'll come up to the following page. So we're going to give it a, our server a name or our, our media server a name. Something that uh, is easily identifiable across our network. Click on next. And in this screen we can add a few libraries now or we can add some later. So we will add all this later. So go next. We can also add a few what they call channels in terms of uh, you can add SoundCloud so you can stream music from SoundCloud through this application or um, iTunes or other other channels, other uh, like other sites. So we'll skip all this now and we'll just go on next. You can also buy a subscription or a Plex Pass as they refer to it which gives you uh, premium features and uh, we can go through some of them in a minute. Click on done. After you click on done you'll see something on the something similar to this. So there's my other server which I've turned off for the purpose of recording this video and it will automatically detect any other server that's on the same network. So this is the one that we've just made. And you can see there's nothing in there. So to start adding media, we want to actually have media. So if we look in videos is where I've put it. We've got two subfolders which I've already created just for testing purposes. So you've got movies with a few movies in there and TV shows. Or just family guys what I've put in there at the moment. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna add these to our server. Click on the plus button. And we'll do the movies first. So obviously click on movies and give it a name, you can name it anything you like, you can name it, I don't know, new releases yeah. or we'll just go, we'll stick with movies click on next and then we want to actually add that folder so just navigate to that folder, videos and movies and just leave it on the the parent folder, you don't need to go into each individual one and click on add and then click add library It'll do a quick scan and then it'll start actually downloading information for those movies that you have in there. So you can see it's working away, doing its thing, and it will detect the movies and uh, start downloading information for them. So the format that I currently have these in, give you a bit of a look so you can see. Uh, you've got them, I like to label them quite well, as in uh, title and then year that it was made. Some people just have it a bunch of mess, like the similar. So it'll automatically download this that type of information. Uh, at any point in time you can edit it. So for example, if it uh, found the wrong cover artwork or poster, you can click on the little pencil uh, and edit that information yourself um, and then save the changes. 
and then you can go through the poster as well and you can also change change the poster if you're not happy with it so these are the ones that automatically detects from uh, from Google so I might just uh, change it to this one this is nicer and backgrounds as well uh, I'll show you what backgrounds actually are later on so it'll then up download it and change it so then if I was to go inside of the movie itself it downloads all the information regarding the cast uh, different audio samples if that file that I had had different audios as in English Korean other languages and also the quality that uh, the file actually is in so that that fade picture of the background is referred to as the background so we can change that as well uh, in that pencil settings which is also in here so once again background and you can change it to uh, let's see skeleton save changes and it will download and there you go so if we want to click on the home button which takes us right back to the start and you can now see movies in there and uh, it'll automatically populate recently added uh, files. So let's add TV shows. We'll add another file. We'll go TV shows this time. We'll leave it TV shows as the default because obviously TV shows. Uh, click on next and we just want to add that folder. So we'll navigate down to the folder and click on TV shows and go add. Add to library. Done. Now we'll start scanning that entire folder again and download the poster and the artwork and all the information regarding each episode. So depending on how much files you have it may take longer. If you're going to add hundreds upon hundreds and hundreds of files it will take some time. So sometimes it's best to just add something and then just leave it for a bit to let it fully download. Um, this all still runs in the background so if I was to just close this little tab it'll still be running because it's running down here. So you don't need to have this open for it to work. So an example of that is so at our desktop and we can just reopen it by right clicking and going media manager. It'll then bring up the browser, log back in and you can see everything. So we'll go to TV shows, you can see Family Guy there. There you go, you Family Guy. If I scroll down you'll see whatever seasons I have click in that and then it will start to display the actual episodes and then I can choose to play it or go inside of it and get more information or by clicking on the plus button I can actually play it on my desk on my computer itself but obviously we're not going to do that so we'll get out of that go back to the home button that's the basics of adding media uh, the purpose of this or creating a server itself is so you can stream it to perhaps an iPhone, an iPad, any type of media device, an Apple TV maybe. Um, you can also, with the Plex Pass, you can also uh, sync this type of data to your phone. You can watch it on the go. So you can stream it directly to your phone or you can actually just download it straight to your phone. It'll probably have to convert it depending on what format it's in. but. Uh, Anyway, we'll quickly touch on channels while we're here. Obviously I don't have anything at the moment. You can have a look in... if you just click on install channels. These are some of the defaults. Uh, we'll install... for now we'll just install SoundCloud. Obviously click, install. Cool, so now that's installed. And if we get out of that and go back to our home page, we'll see the new channels area and you'll see SoundCloud that's popped up. So if we click on that, it'll allow us to browse some of the latest music on SoundCloud depending on what country you're in. It will also allow us to browse our own music and search through music as well. So there's a the navigation there. Obviously my account's not connected so I'm not going to be able to see anything. So I'm assuming if you click on that you'll be able to log in to your SoundCloud if you have one. Um, Plex will automatically check for new media every hour or so. So, for example, if I was to add uh, some new media into my library, let's paste that in there. 
after an hour or so Plex would detect that new media and download all the poster artwork and information for it but if we wanted to force it we could just simply right click on that icon and just go update library we'll start do a quick scan it'll detect the new media and you'll see that little um, processing circle so if we're starting to download that information if we go in there now you'll see the, the new added media as well as all the artwork and everything being downloaded for it so you don't really have to click on update media it'll just do it by itself but if you want to force it that's how you can do so All right, that covers about it of uh, setting up your own media server uh, any questions, please feel free to leave it in the comments section or send me an, uh, a private message and I'm more than happy to respond. If I haven't missed, uh, if I haven't covered everything, please let me know and uh, I'll do my best next time. Thanks guys.